Hello everyone, Victor here. In this tutorial, I will show you how to achieve these kind of puffy clothes in Blender 2.8. It's really easy to achieve this kind of effect thanks to the recently added pressure feature in the clothes simulation. So, let's do it. Let's start with the first example. I'm gonna make a cylinder. I'm gonna scale it in z-axis, something like this. Now I select this top face and I press Shift and D, and duplicate, and right click to release at the same position. Let me show the shortcuts. Okay. Now press P and then I separate this selection. And now I'm gonna give more geometry to this mesh. I make some insets and merge those vertex at center. Now let's make some selection for the pin group. I'm going to place a loop cut over here and go to the vertex groups and create pin group and select this loop and this and assigned. Now I'm going to select this vertex and control plus to roll the selection and assign those vertex as well. Now to stop this seed fighting I'm going to place a little displace modifier 0.01 and now let's enable the cloth physics. I'm going to go to the first frame. I usually select silk preset because it gives a nice configuration for this kind of clothing. I enable pressure and I select in the shape the pin group already created. And finally I disable G gravity. Now let's put some value on the pressure, something like 2 or 3. And if we press play the simulation, we will see barely nothing. So let's take a look at what we can do to achieve those crinkles. First of all, we need more subdivision on our mesh. So I'm going to place a modifier here, a subdivision surface before the cloth. Now to achieve those wrinkles, we just need to play with the shrinking factor and the pressure. So if I set a negative value here, something like minus 0.2, we will start to see these kind of wrinkles. Now we just need a little bit more of geometry to work with. Maybe a little bit more of pressure as well, something like three maybe. And there we are. Now maybe we need uh, another subdivision at the end to achieve those details. So once we are happy with the result, we just need to go to the catch. And in this example, we only need like 40 frames, so I'm going to set the end of the bake at 40 frames and press bake. So now the simulation is done and here we have a nice puffy clothing. Let's make another example. I'm going to make a cube. I scale it in Z axis and then I'm going to separate one face of this cube, give more geometry. And now select some vertex for the pin group. I'm going to select these faces. And go to vertex group, pin group, and assign. Now again, I'm going to place a little displace modifier and enable cloth physics. Select silk. I'm going to increase the quality steps to something like 12. Enable pressures, maybe 3. And select the pin group in the shape. Save all the gravity for now. Let's go to the first frame and press play to simulate. There we go. Now again, let's play with the shrinking factor. I'm going to place minus 0.2 again and right click shade smooth and to see it a little better just add a subdivision after the cloth and that's all we have this nice puffy clothing maybe if we make a mirror here we have a nice pillow now let's make an object just above this cloth and see what happens with the collision so i'm going to the first frame i'm going to place the cursor over here and make a little hexagonal piece. So I go to Mesh, Cylinder, 6 Vertex, 
and in edit mode I scale it a little bit, something like this. And I'm going to place it right above the piece of cloth. Now this object needs a collision physics, so I enable collision. And in the cloth settings I'm going to go to collisions, increase the quality to 4 and decrease the distance all the way down. So now if we press play, we will see this cloth colliding with this object. The nice thing of this is that this is dynamic. I mean, I can move it around and the cloth is reacting to this piece. But as you can see, if we go a little bit faster, we go inside the cloth. So yeah, it's a nice solution, but if you have a situation where you are not going to move this piece I mean, you have this piece of cloth maybe in a hard surface design it's actually better to create a pin group with the shape and the cloth is going to react physically more correct because right now as you can see i'm going to isolate these two pieces and as you can see here we have already some gap and we actually put in the cloth properties a distance of 0.001 so it's kind of a difficult simulation so instead i'm going to duplicate this and select uh, this piece and for example this face this top face shift and d and move it up a little bit and separate this selection now outside edit mode i'd select this shape of this piece and the cloth i'm going to edit mode so make sure you have this piece selected and the cloth is the active one i'm going to edit mode and without touching any face and anything i'm going to top view and search in f3 search for knife project so when you make this operation i'm going to press tab again to go out edit mode Without pressing any face, I'm selecting the cloth piece and going to local view. And now in edit mode, we have this shape selected in our mesh. So with this shape selected, I'm going to add this vertex to the pin group. Let's go outside the local view and press. I can delete this shape. Now if we press play, we will see a better simulation around this piece because it's wrapping physically more correct. In fact, if we take a look at this cloth, let me change the pressure to two, maybe. Yeah, as you can see, you have the hexagonal shape perfectly matching in the cloth, while in the other simulation, you actually don't see any hexagonal shape, right? So yeah, it's another approach to to create this kind of cloth. Maybe you have to crank a little bit this first displays, 0.02 maybe, or just later in edit mode with proportional editing, you're good to modify these little intersections. And again, once I'm happy with the overall results, I'm going to bake this cloth, something to frame 40, it's okay. Let me go into the cloth cache and change the end frame to 40, and press bake, and the same for the other one. Now let's make another example with a cylinder. I'm going to place the cursor at the world origin and shift A mesh cylinder 32 vertex. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees at Y axis scale it a little bit and i'm going to move this face right over here so let's make this kind of clothes pipes that you can see for example on the space stations so for this i grab the cylinder i'm going to delete these faces i'm going to subdivide the mesh until i have an even density something like this i'm going to make a loop here and here and this will be our pin group so i'm going to vertex group let's call it pin group and assign let's enable cloth physics and go to the first frame select silk on the cloth presets enable pressure something like two or three and select a pin group and let's disable the gravity so we are in the outer space, basically. Now if we press play, we will see just a little bit of pressure 
let's play a little bit with the drinking factor minus 0.2 maybe so this is indicating that we don't have enough uh, subdivision so what i'm gonna do is place a subdivision surface just before the cloth simulation let's select another pin group i'm going to edit mode and select maybe this one something like this i'm going to add this vertex to the pin group go out edit mode go to the first frame and press play and here we have this kind of clothing pipe I'm going to add another subdivision before the cloth simulation and there we have it. We could achieve another kind of results if we, for example, let me grab this vertex and remove it from the pin group. Let's press play. Now we have more room here to create those wrinkles. Now just for fun, I'm going to duplicate this mesh go to the first frame. I'm going to place the origin of this cylinder right at the start so shift s cursor to select it now origin to 3d cursor i'm going to add a simple deform at the beginning of the modifier stack and i choose bend in the z axis i'm going to bend minus 90 degrees so now we have this connection in 90 degrees for our pipes so just with this modification we just make a connection pipe and again, once you are happy, you just go to the cache and bake it. Just 40 frames are okay. So I bake this one and I bake this one as well. And there we are. Now let's say we want the shape uh, freeze. So just go to our modifier stack and apply the simple deform, the first subdivision and the close. So that's it. It's that easy. In case you find it useful, I'm sharing a free blend file on my game road with these different examples. So feel free to take a look on it and the other products I have over there. And if you want to support me a little bit, just drop a buck or a few bucks so you help me to release more content in the future. Thank you so much, take care and have fun.